there are uh, many things on this uh, consent calendar. I'm just going to speak to one uh, that uh, I took the lead on and, and appreciate all of my colleagues for uh, signing on. And it's from the County Council. And I know we all care about this deeply. It's item P, the resolution uh, to urge the governor to extend his executive order limiting evictions of tenants who have lost income due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, this uh, is his, his order is ex set to expire at the end of this month. Uh, we now are going on three or four months, uh, depending on the severity of people who have been laid off and the economic impact of residents who have not paid uh, their rent and or their mortgage. And in this case, we're talking about renters. Uh, many people have been forced to reduce uh, to work reduced hours or have been laid off. Uh, this is re uh, required. This has caused serious economic harm. Uh, so along with my colleagues today, we are introducing this emergency resolution that we'll introduce and pass today, uh, calling on the governor to extend his executive order limiting uh, the evictions of tenants. Uh, when he declared the state of emergency, Governor Hogan, back in March, no one dreamed that we were going to be, we didn't know how long this was going to last. Uh, we did know that we were in for a long, long battle uh, and that the damage both to the health, life and safety uh, and economic vitality of our residents uh, would be significant. Uh, it's anticipated nationally that 20 to 28 million people will face eviction potentially between now and September. That's three to four times as many people who have lost their homes during the last financial crisis. I just want to repeat that. Three to four times is a potential magnitude here if we don't act between the financial crisis of 2007 and 2016. Uh, in June, we're thankful the governor announced that it was $30 million in funding for eviction prevention services for the whole uh, for the whole state, and this is important, uh, but again, will not be nearly enough to stave off the potential wave of evictions absent uh, state action, and certainly we want federal action as well, as this moratorium on evictions is set to expire on August one. Uh, so we would ask that the governor, we're calling on the governor to extend this uh, eviction moratorium to at least January thirty first, two thousand and twenty one. It's our hope by then. Uh, the pandemic will will have a better handle on it uh, as far as the economic impact and also the health impacts. Uh, we're also hopeful that federal action will happen and we'll be able to uh, support our residents and have a plan in place and work out as many agreements as possible. So uh, that is the minimum. It, it, this is follows action by uh, our state delegation led by our uh, great chair, Kumar Barve, who sent a similar letter and called on the governor to uh, extend the eviction moratorium until January 31st. So we are supporting that full throttle. Uh, we see it here in Montgomery County. Uh, a study by the Aspen Institute recently said that 356,000 Marylanders, or 19%, almost 20% of all renters in the state, face the possibility of eviction by September 30th. So this is uh, critical as we try to keep people safe, as we try to get the virus under control, and as we may maintain the health, wealth, and safety uh, of our residents. So I appreciate my colleagues uh, support on this and please Governor Hogan extend this for a date certain so that we're not worried about it every couple of weeks or month and, and a minimum January 31st. Thank you, Mr. President.